All right, and we are recording. Hello. Welcome back. I didn't know if I was going to be making another video, but we are here. So, we're going to be doing our we're going to be doing my um TBR for the rest of the year. I don't know why that took so long to get out. But we're going to do my TBR for the rest of the year. Um yeah, I am not like I'm not buying any more books per se. I am just kind of like I'm reading what I have because I've had them for too long years. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. All right. So for <laughs> for our first book, um, pretty popular, I'd have to say, um, the Holy Bible. Um, yeah, I was gifted this, so you know, yeah, I heard it's good, so. Maybe we'll do that. Alright, yeah, so we'll do... I don't think that needs further explanation. The next, I was also gifted years ago. Which is... Um... I assume it's like... I don't know. What's that one... What's that one play? Um... With Abigail and the Crucible. I assume it's like Crucible. It's probably not Crucible, but like the same time, you know, like witches and all that. Obviously, witches. Um, so yeah, there's that. I don't know how many. I just like have never even tried to read this. There's like 400 pages. Okay. Hopefully, it's not boring. My sister gave it to me, so sorry if it is boring. Um, next, we have a classic. I have a lot of classics. Not a lot, but I have classics here that I'm like, all right, I need to read those. The next is Dune. I have not even read this. I think I bought it right after I watched the first Dune. And I'm like, yeah. So I want to do that because it's like essential. You have to read it. And then another one, we have The Invisible Man. Little, little shorty. Um, I haven't even seen the original Invisible Man. See, that's like another thing I need to do. I've been, I'll probably watch it during like October or something, but you know, yeah, I heard that's good and such. Dracula, of course. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this. Yeah, I'm excited for like all the like horror classics that I have, which I think it's just those, I believe. And then I got gifted these for Christmas because I was like, I will love film, and I'm like, I'm going to school for film. Did. Used to go. Well, that's a whole nother story. But everyone was like, oh my god, what do I get him for Christmas? He loves film. I have this. Um, talking pictures, how to watch movies. Um, and then I also have the portable film school. I'm like, I guess I'll read them. I'm sure the knowledge won't really hurt. But, you know. Also, a franchise I want to start um, before the year ends, and I'll eventually like read the other books. Hunger Games. Really excited for that. I've heard great things, you know. And I know that the books go like a lot more in detail than the movies. So, you know, and like I'm like fine with the movies. The movies, give and give or take, I don't really like. Not a diehard. But I'm sure I'll like the Hunger Games books. Probably really like them. Um, all right, let's see what we... Okay. Okay. We have Christine. Obviously, um, the movie is just like... Oh my god, there's like 500. Um, you would not think that this small book is like 500 pages. Maybe you would, but... It's thick. Oh my god, look how small the- oh my god. <laughs> look how small the freaking, like, I don't even see that. That is like, oh, that's gonna be something. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, that's another one. And then I have Cujo as well by Stephen King. Um, yeah, I'm just like not really explaining them. Um, Chrissy, I feel like there's some people that haven't seen the movie, which like, I guess I understand. If you're not like a big horror fan, but like about this killer car, about this guy that's loves this car a bit too much, um, yeah, and then it starts like killing people for him, 
yeah. Um, Cujo, Rabid Dog, another classic movie. I did have The Thinning, but it broke. Um, because this movie that I was working on, because this movie, the short film that I was working on in school, I was like, we needed a book, and we were like, oh, because it was like kind of based off like Stephen King, so we were like, oh my god, let's use the thinning, oh. yeah, so, yeah, and then, um, oh yeah, I do have another classic, Frankenstein, another like horror classic that I'm like excited, um, I think I, I did like, when I was in high school, I, um, I like rented Frankenstein out from the library, but I like, the library, the library, but I never used it. Um, yeah, I never read it. I wasn't really into books a lot in high school. It was really give and take because I did not have like any time then. Um, then we have, okay, these are all like, these little books are like, um, my grandma used to have and they're like little, I don't know, little travel sized books of like classics. I've only read Pride and Prejudice. Oh, just right here from these so yeah and then we have Gull Gulliver's Travels yes um literally no idea what this is about um so yeah I guess we'll see this looks like um this looks like that one scene from Night at the Museum where there's like little the little figurines like capture the dude yeah that was a reference to that um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I only recently watched this movie. Um, shout out to my friend. She made me watch it and I was like, oh my god, wait, why is it actually kind of good? So, but I heard that, I heard that these, this one's like dark. Like the Disney ones, like the original stories are like dark. Like Alice in Wonderland. I don't know, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued about this one because, which another surprising one, I like finally like actually watched I probably saw it when I was a kid, but I, like, rewatched Alice in Wonderland, and I was like, whoa, this is kind of, like, good trippy. I, I'm liking the vibes here, so, you know, I should have liked that. And then we have the Jungle Book, you know, a little classic, uh, yeah, that should be fun. Um, then King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, you know, you know, you know. Um, let's see what else we have. I'll go to... Okay, this is one... Oh, well, I guess I did buy books recently. But, like, I'm not buying any more books. I bought these when I was... It was probably the last time I went to Barnes & Noble. I was there and I was like, I have to get... I've heard so many good things about the Tin Man. And, um... I don't really know what it's about. L... Ellis and Michael are 12 year old boys and when they first become friends oh my god when they first become friends and for a long time it was just the two of them cycling the streets of Oxford teaching themselves how to swim discovering poetry dodging the fists of overbearing fathers oh damn and then one day this closest god I'm like having a stroke here Jesus the this closest of friendships grows into something more I think I heard about that. I think that's why I wanted it. Many years later, Alice is married to Annie. Michael is nowhere in sight, which leads to the question, what happened to the years between? So that's fun. Um, very fun. And then, I was doing this thing for a while. Oh, I think I might have a video on it. Um, where I was watching, um, like, horror, like, Japanese horror classics. And then I was watching the American remakes of them and, like, kind of, like, seeing what it was. And I really liked the original, like, Japanese ring or ringu. So I decided to get, like, the original. Like, that's beautiful. That is just so beautiful. So I want to, like, see that. And, like, Koji Su Suzuki? Koji Suzuki is, like, a pretty good, um pretty good Japanese like horror like writer so I'm excited for that and then we have the MLM never stops it's pride month it's fine um oh Aristotle and Don and Dante discover the secrets of the universe I believe it's an MLM I think um well let's read it shall we Dante can swim 
And Aerie, oh my god, that's a cute little nickname. Aerie Dante is... No, and Aerie can't. Dante is art... <laughs> Why am I, like, struggling over here? Um, yeah, they develop a special bond. Most, most important truth in our lives. The power of friendship. Power of friendship. Okay. Mm, okay. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, so I want to read that. And then... I read all of the Heartstopper books, so, and, like, all the, like, the little novellas, so I'm, like, and I really liked her writing, like, not even just, like, the comics, because, like, obviously I'm gonna like that, but even the little novellas, I was, like, oh my gosh, why am I kind of obsessed? So I got Solitaire. Yeah, Solitaire. Solitaire. I got Solitaire, um, excited, and I also got... Also got oh don't mind the twenty percent off sticker I haven't taken that off yet. Radio silence. Um, I'm excited for those. I really like her writing style. Very fun. Um, and then after that we have I got this a while ago. I just thought the cover looks cool. Like I don't I looked it up on Goodreads and there's like nothing about it. Well I think there's a few things but it's like barely anything. Also the sides are like doing that. I don't know. I had to. Ha I have had it for like maybe a year or more. Um, Badland portrays a 24-year-old, oh, 24-year-old marriage of Caro and Daniel Singleman. The marriage that was, is, and might have been. As the dying, oh, as the dying Caro confronts a night of crisis, the couple attempt to reshape the present by reconstructing the past through interleaving of memory, hallucination, and dream. That's pretty cool. I'm sure it's like artsy fartsy. Um, yeah, I think I'll like it. How many is this? Oh, like 200 pages. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. Oh, and one thing, a little side note, like the, I'm planning on like, I find that this is like, helps me, um, sorry, that was gross. This helps me, um, like with my attention span is like, I'll read one, like, I don't know, I'll read one book like like this, where like I don't really know if it's gonna be an easy read or not. Like I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. So I'll read one like this, and then like the next one I'll do like Radio Silence, where it's like, okay, I know I'm gonna like the reading style, or like or like something like Tin Man or like an MLM or something, and I'm like, okay, I know I'm gonna be hooked because of the the little the gay like the little gay aspect. So I'm like I will read that, and then I'll read another, like, like, if Dune. Like, I'm, like, I'm probably gonna, be, it's probably gonna be hard read. So I'm like, alright, I'll, like, interweave between those. Yeah, that's what I do. And then we have, um, Candy by Kevin Brooks. I read Lucas, and I thought that these were, like, companion books. Like, I thought that this was, like, the second book to Lucas, but I think it's just a it's definitely just like another story entirely but i'm excited um like it looks like i like the covers of this and lucas like especially together that's why i thought that they were companion books yeah there's like 300 and something pages um i really did like lucas so i'm like scared that i'm not gonna like this one um but we'll see we'll see and then we have <laughs> i like i don't remember like what i was thinking when i bought this how to rock breakups and makeups i think i literally like went through a breakup and then i was like oh my god this will be like a fun little thing not like seriously but i'm sure i was like oh this will be a fun read which it probably will be like it'll probably be really easy but like yeah how to rock on nickelodeon so that's fun um yeah really mature story there um and then we have like after that we have Stephen King if it bleeds um I've had this for a while I all these books I've had for like at least a year well besides the ones I just bought but like I'm just like whoa what is oh there are seats in here too um but yeah I'm just like yeah let me see when I bought this December I'm like slouched December of 2020 yeah, so that's fun. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I like, I've read Carrie from Stephen King, and I did like that story. Um, yeah, I didn't really feel everyone like warns you about reading Stephen King. They're like, be careful. It's super like high detail and da da da, and like it's gonna be five page detail of like one situation that I don't know. Like that's what like they say. But Carrie, I really like. I don't know if it's like because Carrie's like kind of different. But, um, and it's, like, his first, uh, first novel, first, I researched this, I should know, um, it's his first, like, publicized novel, I believe, um, not, I don't think it's the first one he wrote, but it's first publicized, you would think, like, maybe that has something to do with where I was like, okay, I'm vibing with this, um, but we'll see about his, like, modern stuff, if it's, like, any different, I'm intrigued to see, um, yeah, like, this is just giving me Pet Cemetery vibes. Like, the cover and everything. Like, I know that it has, like, a little rat in there. Um, I don't really know. We will see. Um, yeah. What? Oh, this is, like, in the future. Because I bought this, like... I bought this 2020, obviously, and I think it was out before then. But it's, like, in the December of 2020... Or, no, in the January of 2021, a small padded envelope arrives in... De Detective Ralph Anderson and is delivered to the Conrads. That's interesting. Little like micro future thing. Okay. And next we have <laughs> Duff. I'm actually like different than like how to rock breakups and makeups. Um, I'm actually excited for. I'm like, cause I like kind of like the movie. I kind of like the movie. I know it's like it's just like a stupid little like feel good movie for like teens i like that movie personally but you know you know um so yeah it'll be an easy read i know like coming of age always like bust through that um and then next we have which i just read volume three of death note and yes this is volume six um i think this is the last book i don't really remember um I need to get the other volumes, so that's on my, like, need to get list. Um, it's looking like, oh wow, I should not do that. Um, but yeah, like, I'm obsessed with that note. I haven't even watched the anime, and I started with the manga, and I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll, I'll probably get, like, the other Black Edition volumes, because, like, oh my god like look at that it's just so beautiful yeah i'll try to get like more of those um and then we have genji ito we have tombs and we have remina um so yeah i definitely want to read these i'll probably get more by the year's end honestly because i'm probably gonna read they're very fast reads i definitely want to read tomi 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 I want to read that um yeah I really want to read that so we'll see but yeah I'll definitely read these probably get some more you know how it be and then next we have more oh well we have invincible <laughs> we have invincible um this is the what is it called the um what is that the word for um, omnibus omnibus i think yeah this has like however many i don't know ultimate collection i don't know how many is in this volume one but i assume it's a lot um so yeah i want to like get into that because i like invincible and i'm like all right I'm like i'll do it i'll play your little games um and then i also okay i'll do this i want to get more um this is the last volume that I read for Demon Slayer and I want to get the rest at some point in the year like I want to like once I'm not broke once I'm not poor I want to get that um and then I also want to this is like the first manga I started I want to like keep up with this I think this is the most recent one but um I just like been buying them as they come out and reading them um yeah, so I want to, like, get that and that, and then, so, I'm catching up, or, like, 
I am keeping up with Jujutsu Kaisen, and then I want to like catch up with Demon Slayer and get like all of those. And then after that, which I'm not even embarrassed, I'm gonna start My Hero Academia. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm gonna start My Hero Academia. I'm gonna like get all of those, catch up. I don't know. I saw that there was some like my like villains that could, or like there were little spin-off manga series. I don't think I'm gonna read those. I might, because I am a completionist, so I might be like, I know I gotta get the the little side stories, but we'll see. We'll see. Um so I wanna read that. I have three of them right now, so I'll get some more. And then after my hero academia, I wanna start Naruto. Naruto. Um I have 13. Well, I have the 13th one. I don't have any besides this. So I need to buy some more. It's like hard. I'm probably gonna have to like order it online. Um, or like maybe go to a store and see if I can get any. But yeah, like I'm excited for that. I've been meaning to because Naruto was the first anime that I watched. So I was like, okay, I got it. Like, why have I not started the manga? Like, what's going on? So I wanna do that. Um, I literally think that's all. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, besides, like, series... Yeah, I don't have any other series, I don't think. I did finish The Watchmen, but I don't think I'm gonna continue that, because that took me so long. Like, the first one took me so long to finish, so I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'll definitely buy Heartstopper if there's more Heartstopper. I don't think there is. Um, I'm, like, trying to, like, look to see if there's anything. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys later. I'm gonna try to do this, keep this weekly at Wednesday. Um, yeah. But you know, besides that, we'll see. I'm sure you'll see all these, hopefully, in my, like, little reading things that I do. Um, but yeah. Peace.